Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorkville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church. Bring you a devotional today out of the book of Habakkuk. In Habakkuk 3, verse 2, it says, O Lord, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe. O Lord, of your works. In our time, revive it. In our own time, make it known. In wrath, may you remember mercy. And this is beginning what the section known as the prophet's prayer. And Habakkuk giving this, this almost this, this wonderful, this, this heartfelt praise of God. Starting out with, oh Lord, I've heard of your renown. It just denotes the the nature of God, that all that he has done, all that, that he has known for it. And Habakkuk says, I have heard of it. I know it. I know who you are. I know all the things you do. And he says, I stand in awe. And that brings up a good point, a good good thing for us to focus on is how often do you stand in awe of God? You know, the spiritual practice of a Sabbath that was laid out in the scriptures, you know, the Bible says you have six days for ordinary work. On the seventh day, God rested and consecrated and blessed the seventh day, making it holy. But in our busy world today, while we often don't take time for this Sabbath, we don't take time to rest, we don't take time to to just be in awe of God. And that's really what the Sabbath is all about. A lot of people think the Sabbath is just taking a rest. And, and that's part of it. In, in fact, the, 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 the kind of the, the point of the Sabbath is to get a break from ordinary work. Now, it doesn't mean you spend the whole day doing nothing. If you, if you can, or if that's what you do, if that's how you like to take a Sabbath, great. But the biggest thing is, is you take a break from any arduous ordinary work and you take time to be in awe of God. And so Habakkuk is saying, I've heard of your works and I stand in awe. And I, again, I think that's something we ought to do. We ought to be able to stand in awe of, of God's work. And then he almost, uh, almost moves on to a prayer. He says, in our own time, revive it. In our own time, make it known. You know, it's almost as if he's saying, I've heard about you and, and I need you to do it again. I need you to be present with us again. You know, Habakkuk, the, the, the nation of Israel was not in a good place when Habakkuk came out. And oftentimes that's why the the prophets were, were there. The, the prophets were called to speak for God because the nation was doing something wrong. And so he's saying, you know, restore us. He's saying, do your work again. Do what you're known for. And I love this, how it ends. In your wrath, remember mercy. You know, his call for saying, Lord, we know that punishment is, we know that, that, that punishment is inevitable. You know, we know that, that, that your wrath is against sin. And, and he's saying, in your wrath, Remember your mercy. So he's almost saying, be merciful to us. And we know that God is a merciful God. So again, the, the, the prophet's prayer says, Lord, I've known your works. I am asking you to do it again in this time. And when we mess up, remember your mercy. Boy, where would we be without the mercy of God? It just, that is something that I hope you never grow complacent with. Something I hope that you never get tired of hearing. The mercy of God. So my message for you today is stand in awe of God. The works of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord. Amen.